Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a blast from the past 2012 Panini Momentum football. 2012, yes. That's Andrew Luck's rookie year. In fact, we have an Andrew Luck bounty. So, if we pull an Andrew Luck autograph out of this break, any kind of Andrew Luck autograph, then that unlocks 100 bucks of break credit to anybody in the break. So whoever gets randomized the Colts, A, they get an Andrew Luck rookie auto, which is awesome. And B, they still have a chance at 100 bucks of break credit. Everyone will be rooting for the Colts person, right? Because that'll unlock break credit that they could potentially get to, even if they, even if they don't have the Colts. See what I mean? So Andrew Luck bounty break. And obviously this is the 2012 draft class, so you can chase guys like, oh, I don't know, Tice, Russell Wilson. I've heard of him. That guy's in there too. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. All 32 are in. We'll roll the dice and we'll randomize that list 11, each list 11 times. Five and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 11 the final time. After 11 times, we got Jared Nichter down to Colton Carver. Five and a six, 11 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 11 the final time. After 11 times, we got Redskins all the way down to the Kansas City Chiefs. So obviously, these will go to the teams that are on the card, not what team they're on currently. All right, so Jared, Redskins, Brian with the Raiders, Jared with the Niners, Kip with the Titans, Rex with the Bengals, Jared with the Falcons, Sean with the Packers, Craig with the Rams, Jared with the Lions, Ryan with the Colts, John with the Bears, um, Buccaneers from Mark Irons, Nicholas with the Dolphins, Jared with the Broncos, Kip with the Panthers, Colton with the Cardinals, Sanford with the Jets, Adam with the Steelers, David Bruins with the Patriots, Vikings for Tice, Logan, yeah, Logan's looking for Josh Allen with the Buffalo Bills. He'd be like, what, 14 years old? Derek Williams with the Seahawks, Jeff Mason with the Giants, Curtis Gardner with the Eagles, Colton with the Texans, Scott with the Jags, Allen with the Browns, Ryan with the Cowboys, Craig with the Ravens, uh, Colton with the Saints, Matthew with the Chargers, and Colton with the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, so let's sort by team. All right, Vikings are up for trade. Now, while you're considering trades, let's pop open this fresh case right here of 2012 Momentum Football. Even the late, look at this, even the label is faded so old. Look at that. There are five box enters. So let's pop this master case open and let's see what we're going to do. Vikings for trade, Steelers for trade, Bengals are for trade. Now, remember, folks, I would do yourself a favor and pull up your 2012. Uh, your 2012 NFL draft class. Make sure, make sure you don't make a silly trade. And you're like, oh, I forgot super Fu super future Hall of Famer was there. All right, let's. Roll the dice. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. And it's two. So one, two, three. This is four, five, six. So we'll save these for random team two. Which is already in the store? Which is already in the store. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.
I was about to pop this open. No one's trading. <laughs> Vikings for Steelers, maybe. Otherwise, we'll. Otherwise, we'll go. And of course, Ray is Adam. Adam is Ray in the chat. Jets for Dolphins. Bills Bills are up for trade. Vikes for Bills. I already print out the list. <laughs> All right, trade window going once. I'll keep the Steelers, says Ray. Trade window going twice. Trade window. Jets for Dolphins, yes? Yeah, Sanford does have the... Yeah, that card blasters is Sanford. Sandiford. So, Nicholas, if you're still... Nick, if you're still cool with that, I'm down. Otherwise, we'll break. Let's do it, says Nick. Nice. All right, so Jets for Dolphins confirmed. So Sanford, you're out of the Jets spot. Nick, you're out of the Dolphins spot. Sanford, you now occupy the Dolphins spot here. We'll put T next to there for trade. So for those of you watching at home, you can keep track of who draws first blood or maybe if no one trades or something like that. All right. Now we can close it up. Trade window closed. Let's print this out. New list gets printed out. Sorry, trees. Sorry, printer ink. There is the final list right here. Five box inner. Random team one. Momentum football. Kip with last spot mojo. And you see the T's next to there for trade. All right. Now we can pop open this five box inner. Let's see what's been hiding in here since 2012. Did Jaspies even exist in 2012? I don't think we did. Maybe Bossman was still at. Might be full of moths. Surprises surprises there's no spiders in here. Terrifying, terrifying spiders. All right. So there's one, two, three, four, and five right here. And 
Chilo doesn't even remember what happened in 2012. What happened in 2012? Two thousand twelve. Well, that's when Andrew Luck was drafted. Was drafted first. The Browns had the most selections at eleven. The Saints had the fewest selections at five. Let's see what else happened in football in the NFL in two thousand twelve. Um. Oh, that's the Ravens. Uh, that's the Ravens Super Bowl. That's the Ravens Super Bowl. Patriots, Ravens, Bengals, Texans, Colts, and Broncos were in the playoffs in the, for the AFC. Redskins, Packers, Vikings, Falcons, San Francisco, and Seattle were the were in the NFC. They were your playoff representative of the NFC. Ravens beat the Colts. Houston beat the Bengals. Green Bay beat the Vikings. Seattle beat Washington, then Baltimore beat the uh, in the divisional games. Baltimore beat Denver, New England beat Houston, San Francisco beat Green Bay, Atlanta beat Seattle, right? Then the Ravens beat New England in the AFC Championship game. Then San Francisco beat Atlanta in the NFC Championship game, and then they all went to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome to play each other. So that was um, that was the Kaepernick year. That was the uh, the lights going out, right, in the stadium that year. So that's what happened in 2012. So there you go. Right, and the power went out. Yep, Andrew Luck was your quarterback. All right, so that was a little bit of history right there. And now let's see what kind of history we can find in here. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> yep, there could be a sweet, sweet Trent Richardson waiting here. I know everybody at one point or another added Trent Richardson to their fantasy team, right? Those first few years of his career. Well, what are we expecting here? Ten packs per box, three packs, three cards per pack. I don't know how many hits are there per box, but we're going to find out soon enough. All right, good luck, ladies and gents. We've got Sean Spence, rookie autograph for the Steelers. Adam with that one, tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Oh, three autos a box. There you go. So there's auto one to seven ninety nine. There's auto two. That's rookie Kirk Cousins. You like that? You like that? That goes to the Redskins, Jared Nichter with rookie Kirk Cousins. 243 out of 299. <laughs> Adam's like, who the hell is this guy? What are you talking about? It's a hit. That's what it is. And there's Tyrone Crawford. Dallas Cowboys. Man, got a lot of, lot of blast from the past here. Cowboys, Ryan Rayner with the boys to seven ninety nine, And there's Terrence, Terrence Ganaway. Everyone remembers Terrence Ganaway. That goes to the New York Jets. Nick getting the Jets in a trade, drawing first blood out of three ninety nine. Is this a hot box? One, two, three, four autographs already? Head of the class, Chris Givens, Relic.
That's out of 49 for the Rams. That'll be for Craig. Then we've got for the Colts. Preferred picks, Dwayne Allen. There you go. Dwayne Allen relic going to Ryan. Ryan M with the Colts. Nice to 99. Could be a rookie Andrew Luck for you somewhere in here. There is Trent Richardson, triple relic and autograph. Old Trent. This is rookie Trent Richardson. He looked good in the AAF for a second. That's still Brown's edition. That's for Alan Murdoch. There you go, Alan. A little blast from the past. Out of 399. There's Tim Benford. We got Jamel Fleming. I think maybe a relation to Ian Fleming. Out of seven ninety nine, yeah. How many autos are in this, Ray? You told me there is three. Unless this is a hot box. There should be three or wow. Well, there's a lot. One momentum rookie signatures RPS card, three or four rookie autographs, and five or six memorabilia. So there's a lot. <laughs> So we're looking at like four or five. Or no, maybe it's only three or four autographs and one of those three or four are is a Momentum Rookie Signatures RPS rookie card. Out of 799. And there's Deonta Hightower. That's pretty cool. For the Patriots. That goes to David Bruins with the Pats. Need more top loaders. Hang on a second. BRB. All right. Good luck, everybody. Next one. All right. So that's in a much better fitting top loader out of six ninety nine. Box two of five. Flacco. There's Luke Keekley. Nice. Rookie salute autograph. Luke Keekley for the Panthers. That goes to Kip Kip Hooray. Nice one, Kip. Rookie salute autograph. That's strong. 90 out of 99. Then we have 
Michael Brockber, Bro Brockers. Actually, Michael Brockers is actually not that bad. Michael Brockers for the Rams. Craig Barney with that. That's one out of 49. Then we've got rookie team threads for the Jets. Stephen Hill. So that's to 199. Stephen Hill for the Jets. Nicholas Esposito with that in a trade. Head of the class. Michael Floyd, relic for the Cardinals. Colton. There you go. Colton and the cards. That's 249. Crabtree is to 49. There's Jim Plunkett for the Raiders. Jim Plunkett relic. Going to Brian, who has my Raiders. Yeah, the design is sort of kind of like, sort of reminds you of Limited, right? Well, they don't do momentum anymore, so maybe, I don't know if I forget when Limited came out. You know, maybe they kind of drop this and just kind of put most of their, their efforts to limit it, I guess. There's a Trayvon Wilson for the Patriots. David Bruins with that one, 799. We got Dre Kirkpatrick. one, Brian. Um, he is still with the Bengals. Good for him. I like that. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, I just I just saw that. First rounder. So they actually might they actually might redeem this card for you. That goes to Rex with the Bengals. Thanks, Ray. Adam helping me out there. So Rex, I I mean give it a shot. Player, player like that who like who's like still in the league and whatnot. Panini will either get you the exact card or maybe something similar in return. We got for the Bills. TJ, I mean Josh Allen, for Logan and the Bills. That's the guy he was looking for. There you go. Out of five ninety nine. More Bengals. We got George Iloka at a seven ninety nine for Rex and the Bengals. At a seven ninety nine. And we got head of the class Russell Wilson and Robert Turbin. Dual Relic. 13 out of 49. Dual Relic, both for the Seahawks. Derek Williams with the Seahawks. Derek, remember, it's also Ru Russell Wilson's rookie. I know the bounties for Andrew Luck, but Russell Wilson could be hiding in here somewhere, too. All right, next box, third box. All right, good luck, everybody. Are you really, John Samuelson? You're sad that you can't get your Jay Cutler base? I'll send you an Urlacher if I see one.
Oh yeah, I saw that. Wait, what is what is Kristen doing? What's that show? I, I saw a clip of it and I threw up in my mouth. Uh, there's Lamar Miller, rookie, Dolphins edition. That's pretty cool. That goes to Sanford and the Dolphins. That's the other side of the trade. Yeah, I think he, they, they got to live in L.A. somewhere now, out of 25. Oh, it's very Cavalieri. There's uh, Marquise Mays. Very Cavalieri. At a seven ninety nine. There's Kevin Zeit Zeitler, Rex. Remember him for the Bengals. Um, out of three ninety nine. Uh, I always thought though that Kristen Cavalieri was probably the the. The least annoying of the girls on the hills, though. There's Brandon Taylor. For the Bolts. That's going to go to Matthew K. Seven, uh, 7.99. Head of the class, Kobe Fleener. Two color patch for the Colts. That's going to go to Ryan M. Brian O says the Hills is coming back to MTV, and you can say with confidence that you're very excited. I don't know about that. Rookie salute, Joe Adams. It's for Kip Kip Hooray and the Panthers. I'm not Team Lauren. Uh, I think Lauren did most with her career, though, right? She seemed like she was a good businesswoman. What did Audrina do? She did nothing, right? She was like a waste of space. We got a triple relic, head of the class. Uh, two Colts and a Dolphin. That'll be a randomizer at the end. At a 99, we'll set that aside for the rando. Got more chargers. Kendall Reyes for Matthew K. At a 7.99. Remember how the how the girls on the hills lived at Park La Brea, and now it's nowhere near the hills. Anquan Bolden. They were living in like mid city, like near Koreatown. Come on, Ultra Pro. Anquan Bolden Relic Ravens Edition, Craig Barney. Out of one ninety nine. Grego saying Loriano with a sick Rob job. Whoa, a plate. Nice. Georgia Loco, one of one for Rex. There you go, Rex. Rex, are you at work? You should do the you should do the train whistle at the store. Get on the PA, do the train whistle. Go, Rex. Ready? Go, 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 go. All right, ready? All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Right, that's, yeah, I'm your L.A. insider. Yeah, I mean, you know, it would take like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, like no traffic to get to the Hollywood Hills, to like Sunset Boulevard. But I'll show you, I'll, after the break, I'll, we'll, go, we'll go to one of our favorite parts of the show, to the maps, and I'll show you where they lived. Right, because remember, remember that's what like the intro sequences would be like, Park La Brea. And it'd be like, ooh, fancy. But it's actually that area. Well, no, not where they lived. I think they lived in the in like the little cottages or houses that they built around it. But the park Park Labrea has these towers that were these old um, that are converted old army barracks 
I think, for uh, for military stationed in World War II would live there. And then I think they turned them into dorms, like UCLA or USC, maybe UCLA, UCLA dorms. I think they changed those into like student residential living after World War II and all the troops coming back had like um, student grants for, for being in the military for their service. I think that's what they used those for, if I'm not mistaken about that. And then they then they converted it into, um, you know, like luxury apartments in like the 90s, early 2000s. Double features material, Baltimore Ravens, Ed Reed, Holodi Naga, Holodi Nada. That name always, I have to ignore what I'm reading and just say what I know. Both for the Ravens. That goes to Craig. More bangles. More Aloka. Your Aloka PC is growing, Rex. Yeah, The Hills is one of those shows where your girl turns it on. You're like, whatever keeps you happy till you get to bed. And then you're like, oh, okay, I can kind of get into this. Remember, uh... Right, next thing you know, you're binging past seasons. All right. There's Adrian Robinson. I've known her, Adrian Robinson. Um, he, back in 2012, he was a New York football giant. Jeffrey Mason with that one. Greg goes like, Brian speaks the truth. Remember the show Before the Hills? I don't know how. Thanks, Jay Cutler. Getting onto the, getting us onto this silly topic here. There's Ryan Tannehill, rookie Ryan Tannehill, triple relic and autograph for the Dolphins. Sanford with the Dolphins. Maybe the trade, I think, is now leaning in Sanford's favor. Uh, remember the show Before the Hills? I think it was Laguna Beach. So a few of the girls who were from uh, Laguna Beach High School were followed, and then that turned into the hills. I think I had a couple friends or acquaintances who went to high school around the same time there and, like, you know, knew of one of the girls there, but I think they mostly filmed in L.A., so they were, they were like, never in class. <laughs> it's like their senior year. There's Janoris Jenkins, rookie salute autograph for the Rams, Craig, to 99. There's pre preferred picks, Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> Good old Laguna Beach. That show was definitely worse than, worse than the Hills. Hills was definitely a little bit of a step up. To 25, Ryan Tannehill. Tann no, no Tannehill bounty. We'll save one of these for John Samuelson since he, since he loves the Cavalry Cutler family so much. Chandler Harnish for the Colts. That's going to go to Ryan. To seven ninety nine. <laughs> Another bangle, Devin Still, for uh, for Rex. Yeah, we hit that Chandler Harnish bounty. Woo! At a seven ninety nine. There's rookie salute for the Colts, Dwayne Allen. And we've got a trio of Rams right here: Fred Dreyer, John Haddle. And Merlin Olson. Old LA Rams, 38 out of 99. And now they're Los Angeles again. Should we tag this video like The Hills? Very cavalier. Laguna Beach. Wait, the Hills is really coming back, Brian O? Should we have, like, watch parties? And yes, and yes, he says. Oh, man.
Last box, 2012 Momentum Football. I guess they're all growing up with, yeah, I guess they are all, all growing up with families now. So when's it when's it premiering? What what network is it going to be on? Maybe we will have watch parties. Like F Game of Thrones, Game of what? <laughs> game of lame. You know, for us, for us, we're all about uh, we're all about hard hitting shows. You know what I mean? We're all about like highbrow, high culture shows. You know what I mean? Stuff that really challenges the mind. You know, it really gets into to the deeper issues of, of uh, you know, the, the struggle of, of, of young women in a time such as these. That's what we're interested about here at Jassy's, you know. Shows that make you think, like The Hills. That's what we're all about here. MTV in June, all right. a girl on the hills that had like tons of plastic surgery and now she's like regretting it and she just kind of got into like this weird obsession and addiction to it there's alfred morris nice rookie auto at a 7.99 oh was it heidi i think it was heidi heidi montag There's Ruben Randall, triple relic and autograph for the Giants. Jeffrey Mason. Out of four ninety nine. You think every uh, every like reality star from like the early two thousands is thinking, is it time for, for our reunion? There is Riley Reif. For the Detroit Lions, Jared. That's right, Gilo. Not a shame. I'm I'm confident enough in our masculinity to do that. Gilo's like, look at us, bros, breaking cards and talking, talking teeny bopper shows. Reversal, reversal, reversal crew here. You know, we can talk. We can talk the viability of Bitcoin in an emerging internet market, and we can also talk about the hills. We can break down. We can break down a football game. Talk about the intricacies of baseball betting. We can talk about Laguna Beach. Whatever. Rookie salute, auto, not autograph, but relic. Devier Posey at a 375. Head of the class, randomizer, RG3 and Kendall Wright on the left and right. Randomizer along with that other triple relic. Yeah, Jaspie's After Dark gets pretty rowdy in here. We're talking about very cavalry. Our, our, our teen demographic is strong. Advertisers like that 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 we have a that we have a strong teen, uh, strong teen demo, tween demo. There's uh, if we can get a focus. There's Levon Brazil. Remember that's how the Street Fighter Two guy would say it, Brazil, and then you go and fight Blanca. That's a Colt for Ryan. Come on, Andrew Luck. Where are you? That's the whole point of this. Or Russell Wilson. Oh, Alshon Jeffrey. That's pretty cool. How about that, John Samuelson? And your Chicago Bears. Triple Relic and Auto. Alshon Jeffrey. It's not bad. Spoke too soon, John Samuelson. You got to play it to the whistle. John Samuelson just finished saying, there have been like 50 autos and no bears. Come on, bears. There he is, out of 599, all Sean Jeffrey. Who won me a first touchdown bet in the Super Bowl a couple years ago. Saved my day. Kendall Reyes for the Chargers. Head of the class for the Jets. That is Stephen Hill. Aaron 
And that's for Nick Esposito. Out of 249, I had a friend whose last name was Sposito. Drop the E. Not an Esposito, but a Sposito. Head of the class, David Wilson, Ruben Randall, Giants dual relic. It looks like that's that, folks. Jeff Mason with the Giants. And Kenny Britt. Out of 149. And Kenny Britt right here is your final base card. A couple randomizers to do. <laughs> Gilo's like, when the site is reloaded, there'll be a Laguna Beach break. I'm down. Someone will get randomized like Lauren, and someone gets randomized Audrina. And... All right, let me bring up some random.org. All right, we got head of the class triple. That's Indiana Colts, Indiana Colts, Indianapolis Colts, Indianapolis Colts, and Miami Dolphins. Or a Michael Agnew autographs all over the place. RG3 for the Redskins, and then Kendall Wright for the Titans. One dice roll for the end of break randomizers. Two and a two for the hard way. One, two, three, and four. Miami beat the odds. Miami's on top. That's for the Dolphins. That's for Sanford. Out of 99. And the dual relic, Washington and Tennessee, two and a two, four times. One, two, three, and four. Tennessee on top. Titans will get that one. That's for Kip Kip Hooray. Last spot mojo. At a 149. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.